guys hope you're having a magical day where you are as I am having a very busy day where I am so today we're going to be doing the DIY on the Walt Disney World Mickey Mouse hand towels that I recently purchased I've already made one to show you and then we're gonna make one together now this is um, something I've been talking about here and there through various vlogs if you are a regular viewer of my channel. But I had bought some Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse towels at um, Target because I am doing both our half baths. We have two half baths in our home and Walt Disney themed and I wanted some hand towels to go with them for decoration but I couldn't find any so I decided to go on ahead and just make my own. So this is how they turned out and some of you were great about leaving comments and giving me suggestions and encouragement about you know should I add ribbon should I not add ribbon and thank you so much because um, like I said I always read your comments and take suggestions. So here is one that I did. Ta-da! I think it came out so cute. He's right there. And of course I put the ribbon and there's the side. And then on the back is just, you know, completion with the ribbon. But I even managed to save his tail, of course. So that's a good thing. Because at first I was like, am I going to have to cut off his tail? Am I going to save it? It worked. Okay. So what you're going to need for this project okay first of all i just want to say too if you don't want to do a disney themed bathroom but you want to like customize your own decorative hand towels then you can get a different embellishment it necessarily doesn't have to be a disney embellishment or if you do want to do a disney embellishment it doesn't have to be mickey you can buy any kind of disney embellishment when i was at my hobby lobby they had mickey they had minnie they had elsa they had anna they had Pooh, and they even had a cinderella one so I was like wow they had a lot of Disney embellishments to choose from um, but on the Mickey one I got like the last two and then on like the mini one they only had one of those left so I was like very fortunate to get what I got but there they had Elsa and Cinderella so you can always go with that kind of thing too anyway here is my Mickey embellishment that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and when I got this, nowhere on here does it say it's an iron on. It actually says on the back for instructions, it says position applique as desired and hand sew or machine stitch in place. Okay, number one, I don't own a sewing machine and number two, I cannot hand sew this. I can do a button or a zipper or, you know, a basic hem, but I cannot do this. And when I took it out, I was going to try and heat bond it, but I noticed it had like a sheeny shimmer to it. And I was just like, I think that's an iron on applique. And sure enough, I gave it, you know, a brush with the iron and yes, it's stuck. And I'm like, okay, they really should put on here that this is an iron applique as well, but I don't know why they don't. But anyway, got this at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to bring my camera down and show you everything I have here. So first things first, I have some heat bond that I used, okay, and I use that for the ribbon. I have a hand washed, I have a hand towel that I washed, okay. You want to wash your hand towel before you apply your appliques or any heat bond material um, to it. And I have it folded in half so I keep it even, okay. And I have that laying on my ironing board. Bring this down just a little bit more. I, there you go. That's a lot better. Then I have two strips of ribbon that I just got off of this spool. And I've already measured them out. And here's the other one. Then I have two heat bond strips that I also measured out as well because I'm going to need to heat bond my ribbon. Then I have a pair of scissors for the project that I used. And of course I have a lighter and I used my lighter to seal off the edges of my ribbon so they would not frail. And then I'm going to need a ruler and a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what you have, white, loose leaf, it doesn't matter. I just grabbed a piece of paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this aside. I'm going to take my iron, you're going to need your iron, and you're going to need an ironing board, of course, and I'm just going to gently iron out this towel like this, okay? 
and then I'm going to take my ruler because I want to make sure that I position Mickey in the center because you only have one shot with this, guys. It's not like you can say, oop, I made a mistake and remove him. Once he is ironed on there, that'll be it. And you can also, you know, pretty much eye it as well. And you just want to take this off. He's kind of stuck there. The other one came right off. Okay, there we go. See how it's got like this sheen shine to it? When you see that on an applique, you can pretty, you know, you can pretty be sure that it is definitely an iron on. So all I want to do is, is I want to take this and I just want to measure out the length of my um, tile here. So it's 12 and I'm just going to kind of mark it 12, about 16 inches. So somewhere in the middle, I know it's going to be an eight. If this is about 16 inches long, then I know half of that is going to be about eight. So if I put this back, here's my eight. I'm going to sit him right there, like about right there. And I actually use the middle part of him. Now, I also take into consideration the, what do I want to say, if you use my other one, the height of it, and I actually used my ruler, if you follow what I'm saying. So when I sit this back on my uh, ribbon, uh, it's the same, you know, height as my ruler. So when I sit this back here, he's about right there. I know that that's about the middle because there is my eight inches on my ruler and this is totally about 16 inches across, okay? Hopefully you understand what I'm meaning by that. So I'm just gonna kinda eye it one more time because I wanna make sure that he looks pretty centered, okay? And I might just move him over just a little bit. There we go. Now, when you iron your applique, guys, you just want to press, okay? You just want to press. And how I do it is, I got my paper there because I'm going to need it here in a minute. I'm just going to press on him. So after we get him centered, we just want to take our iron and press. Lift. Press and lift and press okay that's all we want to do now we want to kind of do the back of this so we're going to flip him over like this right where he's at and then on the back you can do this okay back and forth you don't want to do it on the actual applique itself and i have my iron set on the silk setting I forgot to mention that. And there he is. He is on there. Now, we're going to take the ribbon. Move that off to the side. This is where you're going to need your tissue paper. And I'm going to kind of sit up for this. So, I have, this is the rough side of your heat bond. Okay, your heat bond actually has two sides. A rough side and then a paper side. You want your heat bond rough side, okay, to stick to the side that you're going to be ironing onto something, okay? So we're just going to flip this over, lay that down like so, okay, got it? Okay, and we're just going to iron this, and notice I have it on paper. That way, if any of the glue comes off, it comes off on the paper and not my ironing board. And it doesn't have to be perfectly on there. And then all I do is hold it, and then I just drag my iron across this like this. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay? To make sure that it's stuck. I'll do it one more time because I wanna make sure that it got on there, and I'll do it this way. Okay, there we go. 
gonna let that cool just a minute. We'll get this towel back here. I'm gonna lay him right here. And we're gonna take this heat bond and we're just gonna peel it like so. And I don't know if you can see the white and how it's sticking. And you just pull it across like that. And then you're gonna lay this down like so. Okay? And again, you're going to press down. You're not gonna iron it as you would a blouse or a pair of pants going back and forth. This is merely pressing, okay? And I'm gonna turn my iron up just a little bit for this one. I forgot to put this on cotton. This needs to be on cotton, guys. Ribbon Cotton Mickey Silk or my applique silk. Okay. There we go. Should be sticking. Yep. I need to do that over there. Just press, press, press. Like so. Get that there. And then over here. And it's really sticking. It's on there. Now you can take it once you get it like this, flip it over, and then you can go back and forth with it. Okay. Just to make sure it got on there. Yep, there it is. Looks good, right? Okay. We do the same thing on this side. So again, we'll push this off to the side. Wrong one, we want a rough edge one. So we wanna connect these two. The rough edge goes on the back, okay? Lay it down, get it pretty even, like so, okay? lay your paper underneath and I only lay the paper guys like I said is because I don't want to get this sticky stuff got a piece of my hair I don't want to get this sticky stuff stuck to my ironing board okay because I actually iron clothes on here okay and we're just gonna get that on there and we're just gonna kind of pull that through to make sure it sticks, that's all we're gonna do. You can also move the iron on that if you like. Get that, and we'll run on this side one more time. Get that side, okay? Let that cool for a minute. You just wanna let it cool for a minute, okay? I love heat bond, I love it. And then we're just gonna take it again, and we're gonna peel back making sure that the bond is sticking. If it looks like it's not sticking, then you wanna close it and iron again, okay? You just pull it back, keep going. So like, keep swimming, keep swimming from Finding Nemo. There we go. And then of course you have that shimmery side and now it's going to iron on, whoops. It's gonna iron onto your applique or excuse me, your towel. Okay, your applique, uh, no, your towel. Okay, so we're gonna get that on there. We're almost done. Get it centered, okay, right here. And again, what is the rule? Press, 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 press. Don't go back and forth with it, okay? like I said, you can do any type of DIY project with your towels. It doesn't have to be Disney themed or it doesn't have to be Mickey themed. It can be any theme you want. And we're just going to press through that, okay? Press, press, press. And this side stuck really well. It's because my iron got really warm. Okay, lift it up. 
Then you can flip it over and now you can iron the other side like you would a shirt or a pair of pants just to make sure that heat gets through on that back side. And guys, these are not meant to be washed, okay? These are meant for decorative purposes, okay? I wouldn't necessarily recommend washing these, okay? Because I don't know. I've never washed one, and I don't plan on it, so I'm not going to do it to find out. This needs to be ironed a little bit more on this side. See how it's rigid? So we're just going to lay that down. That did not get there. Press, press, press. No rub, 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 rub. And lift. There we go. Let's see. Nope, it's on there now. It's not coming off. So there you have it. He is all done. That is very simple. That is very easy. It came out great. I love it. Um, it I think it's going to look great with the uh, bath towels. I'll put it up against one. So it's kind of going to look like this to kind of give you an idea. Okay. I like the color contrast is what it is. I think the color contrast looks really good. Um, the yellow with the, uh, the red. And I'm actually going to be putting these tiles upstairs. I'm trying to fix it so I can show y'all. I'm actually going to be putting these tiles in the bathroom um, upstairs. So, but it kind of looks like this to kind of give y'all an idea what it's going to look like. Let me kind of push that up. Go like that and I'll bring my camera down. And it kind of looks like that. Okay, what do y'all think? Do y'all like that? Let me know your opinion and your thoughts. If I've inspired you to go out and get some towels and make your own decorative towels for your guest bathroom or your half bath. Or another thing too guys, this would be like a cute gift to give to somebody for Christmas because Christmas is less than six months away. You could actually go online like at Etsy or something and get embellishments with people's names on them and possibly do something like this and, and maybe like, you know, put a child's name down here and hand make these and give these out as like a Christmas present. That would be really, you know, nice. DIY projects are always nice to give out because it's just something that you took the time out and you made it specifically for somebody. If it's a girl, you can get like pink towels. And like I said, you know, do a female, you know, princess or something. Maybe she has a favorite character she likes that you, you know, for a niece or a granddaughter or your daughter or um, a friend's daughter and maybe get an embellishment with her name on it. Like I said, there's a lot of Etsy shops online. I don't know if anyone in particular, but they could actually do embellished names and you could put a name here and a character there and really decorate a tile and give it out as a Christmas present. I think that's a fabulous, you know, DIY project. This was not that expensive to do at all. Um, it was it was very affordable and reasonable and yet very pretty and classic. So let me know what you think about these DIY dowels. Let me know if I inspired you to possibly go out and make some for your bathroom, whether it's Disney or, or non-Disney. But if you enjoyed this video, you know, let me know and leave your thoughts and comments down there below. They're always welcome. So if you're not already a Life in Disney Mouseketeer, please feel free to subscribe down below as I upload videos weekly. So till next time, guys, y'all take care. Y'all have a magical day and a magical week, and I will see y'all later. Bye, guys.